Oh man. It's time to go after the enchantress, after she's tricked us, and turned us into her night gathering pawn. I'm prepared, and 100% ready. By the way, I love how Spectre Knight jumps down into the dungeons to start this level. We are very much in the dungeon. Destroy the cell door to the right, drop down, and destroy the left one as well for the gem. Hitting the wall, hit the right cell door now, and kill the archer. Then make your way past another cell, dropping down on the bubbles and quickly hitting the left cell to kill another samurai, and get some gems. Kill this enemy and wall jump to the left to grab a gem. Drop down and destroy the sand blocks on the right. So drop down, and kill the insect, then jump the gap, and kill the next one, but leave the dark wizard alone. Then use the orb to get the skull, and destroy the wall for a chest. Collect everything from the chest and dirt pile. You can kill the enemy at the top cause we don't need him anymore. Time your jump to the middle platform. Then we'll all jump to get to the next room. Hit the checkpoint here. Next up is some book platforming. We have to be quick. Use the fish to slash forward. You want to use the fish to activate the book. Fall down, then use another fish, to slash to the upper left. Break the wall up here, to find red skull number 2. Tricky, you'll need to wait for the books to disappear, and then jump to the ladder on the right. We've got a fire wizard up here, make your way to him, kill him the wall run, and go to the ladder. There are a lot of platforms that fall, when you stand on them so don't stay for too long on them. More falling platforms and several helicopter ads. Use the ads to get to the ladder on the left. First thing kill the enemy. Remember he has same attack as yellow one. But the only difference is that they always drop a bomb instead of a turkey upon death. Finally don't forget to break the top left wall. Collect everything and go right. Another checkpoint here, so grab it. Then use the left wall which descends to grab the platter. You need to time it here, with fire and when it starts to rise to get to the top. Next up is a night kill him. Drop down wall jump, and use the lantern. Then hit the switch and go down. Then hit this switch and go right. Be right back. Get everything from the dirt pile. Hit the switch on the right, then drop down. Did I miss something on the left side? Let's check. Nothing I don't know, why I thought I forgot something. So let's go back, and hit the switch maybe it's a little later in the level. Use the platforms below, to get to the next platform. Wait for the pillar to go down, and hit the switch, and go where the gem is. Break the wall on the left and right. Right wall for a red skull number 3, and left one for a gem. Hit the switch, and go to the right platform. Good thing I have this cloak. So let's try that again. Hit the switch, and jump to the next platform. Run fast here, use Planto to get through, and go to the next room.
I panicked be right back. Grab the checkpoint and a platter. We are forced to go down. But as you can see on the right we'll be back. Kill the zombie. And this one as well. Use the bush to get higher. Use the bush to get higher again. Kill the zombie again, and go up the ladder. You get this feat, when you chain together multiple targets with dash, slashes 500 times. This room filled with green blocks is deadly. Watch out how you break them. You want to also hit the lower left wall. For a red skull number 4, and be extra careful, when you hit the green block to the upper, left as your enemy comes out of it. This room has a block with a floating orb on it. Release it and use it to go to the left and upwards. Stupid gem. Half a bubble. Holy shit. More water. Invisible platforms are back, and also a big fish is back. Let's heal because one hit and I'm dead. I mean I'm already dead, but you get my point. There's a chest here, but you need to get it from the right side. Kill the beetle and a knight. And let's kill the fish, just to get him out of my way. No, I don't have any darkness, be right back. We now need to hit the floating orb down into the water and slash through it to the upper right to get to safety. Finally, let's continue. And checkpoint. Just be careful with the rotating lanterns. Continue on now. Auto scroller. Use the lanterns to get higher. To the right wall. Jump off of it. And use the lamps. To get to the upper left platform. Grab everything from the dirt pile. Use the upper right lantern. To get to a scrolling lantern. Use a scrolling lantern. Use it to get on the wall. Wall run. Jump past the lantern and use it again. Repeat to the top of the wall. From here. Use the moving platform to get to the left, and use the green lantern, to get to the platform. Use the green lantern, to get to this platform. Just ignore the gem on the left too risky. Then use swinging lanterns, to get to the ladder. Climb it to the next room. We have a checkpoint at least. It's all dark up here in the evil green atmosphere. This is a rail section, with some fire spread out here and there. This area isn't bad at all. Just grind the rails, and jump over the fire or just slash it. Jump over when a gap appears. Final checkpoint is here. It's boss time. Turkey in darkness here, if you need it. Turn back, Donovan. I won't let you harm her. The time for words is over. Her fate is sealed, as was mine. But the boy, he may yet have a chance. Steal thy shovel. He has some old and some new attacks. Terror pin bounce. Now here's an annoying attack. One you'll see coming. At certain times in the fight, the Black Knight will cause Terror pin to just start bouncing around the arena. You know this is coming when Terror pin stays in place and kind of winds up. Get on the far end when it happens. So Black Knight will bounce up above you, and come back towards your end really low, which just means you can wall climb, and get in some guaranteed damage. Try to make the most of it. Dark Energy Rain. Another annoying attack, that only occurs when the Black Knight is above you, but at times, when he's floating up there, he can stop and start shooting down diagonal shots of purple energy, one after another, all in a row. He usually only does this 5 to 6 times. So try to run away, when they start coming down as there's not much else you can do. Terror Pin Burp. This move returns from the first fight, and it's still very basic. When the Black Knight is on the ground, and on Terror Pin, 
he can do a downward attack into it and cause it to burp up an energy projectile. Very easy to jump over. Terror Pin Spin. This is a unique attack you may not even see. The Black Knight can hit his Terror Pin Mount and make it spin like a top. Dark Energy Shot. Another attack from the first fight, but this one he seems to always do twice in a row now. Remember how he used to shoot out a shot of energy at range. He still does, but he doesn't really have to be at range anymore, and often when he does this, he will immediately do another one right above the first shot. Tear open. Forgive me, but I will be stalled no longer. So let's talk to Red, so he can give me money. Oh you have 5 Red Skull yes I have now give me money. And it's the final boss time. I'm going to end the episode here I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one.